YouTube, it's me, I'm back. Um, I've got another project idea, this time it's a two wheel scooter. Um, it's going to be electric of course, um, and a two part video. But I'm going to have to be patient because I've got things to order and it can take anything from three days to three weeks. I've been ordering parts and things have been taking weeks and weeks. So, fingers crossed, we should have another electric scooter this time like I said a two-wheel version with things what I've got lying around in the shed in the workshop so stay tuned and we'll see how it goes right um, the first thing I had lying around was a 50cc rev and go motorbike basically brand new um, I bought two of these uh, two different models this model um, was very 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 wobbly on the front forks the front forks are down there um, and I thought it was just too dangerous, so I've ended up stripping this for parts. Um, that's the obviously the swinging arm, we come with a disc, complete with a disc brake, and uh, the other side is the sprocket. So that is going to be bas basically my uh, platform. And these two pieces of steel, which I also have lying around, as part of an old bike rack, um, which has got parts missing, so it's no good to me. The part's going to cost 30 quid. So hopefully these parts will will come in handy. I know what these are going to be used for, so I'm thinking of putting um, mono suspension on this. And I'm going to use the existing mount, and I think I might be able to utilise these, and these are actually off that. Um, yeah, bike rack, that goes on the back of a car. So yeah, I mean, basically, my frame, I'm hoping, is going to be kind of like that. It's going to be quite large, but I'm, I don't know what voltage to make this one, I'm not sure whether to make it 48 volts or 24 or 36 or I don't know, um, I haven't decided what motor I'm going to use, I have got another mobility scooter mod, um, that's, I think it's only 250 watt though, um, but it depends what I want to go for, speed or how long it's going to last I would imagine, let's, um, let's crack on. So far so good, that's the existing uh, rear wheel off that mini motor. This is just temporary obviously, um, basically that's going to be the running platform. That's where the front wheel is going to be. And you can see the little strut there sticking up just, just before the wheel. Seagulls! Um, that's where the suspension is going to be attached to. Well, that's basically how um, the suspension, or I see the suspension fixing. I've not had to cut anything yet, apart from drill two holes in the, uh, for the swinging arm. I've already got a frame. That's part of the, uh, the bike rack off the back of the car, which is brand new. And that's the part of the mini motor and the suspension. I don't do things methodically. It's just a case of, I'll do this bit, then that bit, and then I'll work that bit out later. Oh, that's the support, or part of the uh, suspension support fastened on. And my two mines, um, I'm going to bolt it to start with, whether to use that suspension or the bigger one. I don't know what's going to be um, what's going to be best. But yeah, just in the middle of welding these two little pieces on, which are also just bits lying about in the shed. Yeah, it's brilliant, this. Right, uh, before my battery dies, I've managed to... Uh, Sort of weld the suspension on. I'm not happy with that position though, so I might need to move that. Um, started on the front end. It sounds weird because I've got a dust mask on. Um, that's going to be the uh, the handlebar stem. The where the bearing goes. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? 
here. That's going to basically weld it on there for the bearings to go in for the front forks to sit in. Yep. That's the front end tacked together with the steering collar on, including the bearings which have now been put in place. Um, it's not the prettiest of things, but it will be when it's painted up. That's basically your steering. Not sorted, but in position. So yeah, it's a bit of a wide angle lens on here. So you've got that there. Right, that's the first stage of my steering extension. Um, they were existing clamps, what uh, what held handlebars on. Put these on bolts. Welded this post on. Now my new um, handlebars, if you want to call them handlebars, will be attached to that post sticking up. Right, I've jumped a bit now. Uh, the plastics off the motorbike, the original plastics, fit obviously because it's the same front end. Front brake's now connected, so it's first coat of matte black paint. Let me just turn my focus off, I keep saying that. It's so it's first coat of matte black. Still got that uh, swinging arm bolt to do. All these up here, bolted, painted. I decided to put two bolts through here as well to stop the fork from twisting. Um, all is well. Keep tuned for the next video.